Scott Brown here. Some of you guys have asked me where exactly do I get my hand saws from? Maybe in some future episodes we'll go over all the hand saws that I have and how I use them, but in this episode we're just gonna meet the guy that I buy them from. Enjoy! And I'm very happy with them. Oh, good on you. That's so I'm awesome. keen to get some more hand saws. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Like the sound of that? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah, that's my kind of music. That's good. Oh, it's always a good sight, Gaston. Yeah. Looking in the back of your van. One thing that I want to do one day is just record all the, the sounds that people are making when they approach. Right? <laughs> sounds like. Oh, oh, ah, hey, oh, that's, uh, oh, oh, this is Christmas, oh man, oh, oh, man, laugh for this hours. This is Christmas. This is Christmas, oh man, oh, look, oh, oh this is uh, tool porn, and stuff like that. And you go like, well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna grab one of each and then I, I'll give you some suggestions. Okay, and I was keen on those masks as well. I'll go, oh, I'll go shelter. Always love looking at this truck. So this is your um, general carpentry saw. So you have a, a one edge is for cross cut. The other one is for ripping. Yeah. Um, so if you are doing cutting a tenon, if you just along the grain, use the ripping side. Across the grain, use a cross cut. Such a fine tooth to it. This is sort of what I was thinking. Something like this. It's a general base. It's what I call my general purpose saw. This kind of um, teeth you can work really well on hardwoods, on soft woods as well. But if you are working on something that is very wet. Yeah. They will they will clog that like you know the teeth they will fill uh, with fiber right. for um, cutting four by twos. You just use something like that. Oh yeah. So yeah, it cuts yeah. on the pool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So that's a really cool saw for your uh, like for your tool belt. When you fold and the blade is always protected. Mm. So blades are 0.3 mils thick. Whoa. So this is wood. We like wood. That's one option. This yeah. one here is probably one of my favorites. That's yeah. why we have only one left. <laughs> Pretty popular. Um, very popular. This this saw that's cross cut and ripping. True. So it's a combination of um, both in one saw, but on the same edge. It's great for uh, furniture making, um, you know, cutting dovetails. Yeah. But also for trimming, like skirting boards, anything that actually requires accurate cuts. Uh, and okay. there is a third one that I don't have in stock at the moment. It doesn't come with the spline. Yep. And it's called Catawba and it's for making deeper cuts. Right, so, so you're not restricted by the... That's right, yeah, so yeah, um, yeah. blades normally are a little bit more thicker. I bought a silky one from you. Yeah. I've got one over there at the moment. Yeah. Um, how come you changed? Like, how come you went to... This, uh, I was looking at what's the, the base or the strongest woodworking brand in Japan and also in Europe, that one. This is stronger in Europe than actually silky because wow. the woodworking range is bigger. Again, traditional like magnolia, wood, yep. Rattan, yep. and this is a Catawba without the spline. This is a ripping saw, only oh, ripping. Wow. And this one is cross-cutting. So these are quite specific for the job. And the blades are replaceable as well. But yeah, this is uh, probably our biggest seller. Yeah, well that's what I'm thinking amazing. of grabbing. And my plumbing mate wants one as well. How much yeah. are they? Uh, these ones are $60. 60 bucks. Including GST. Including GST. Yeah. Okay, nice. So. Um, yeah, two of them. In fact, maybe I can hear my mate Pido already. He's over in Thailand at the moment. Yeah. So I can hear him like crying out for one of these. So I'll grab three. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> if you have three. All right. All right. So another thing I bought from Gaston is one of these masks here. It's just Velcro. You just go like that and boom, you're a ninja. A little less cumbersome than a 3M respirator. Three. Ooh, awesome. There go. And this is uh, these are the masks. So. So when you replace the, the valves, everyone is asking me what is this for that comes in the bag. That yeah. is actually to put that in there. Oh, like a little key? Yeah, but you can use your fingers. Yeah, yeah. And, and then you just carefully detach this. And some guys don't realize that this comes off quite easily. And when they take this off to free the, the filter, oh, they lose if that. you lose that, you need to buy a pair of valves because they come as a pair. And each pair is 17 bucks. Damn, bro. The other thing is also some guys they are telling their boss that they need to replace the valves once a month. It's not true. Do you replace that once a month? Though? Normally a filter will last you maybe 40 hours of continuous use. Just sort of an average. It depends on the dust on the environment that you yeah. have. Maybe what 40 do you pay, hours. What do you pay for a filter? Uh, each pack comes with a 12, uh, 12 bucks for three filters. They are awesome for uh, when you go into the portaloos. Yeah. 
because she can't smell <laughs> anything apart from yeah. yeah, yeah trust, Is that I, why you have one? I tried it in Christchurch. Uh, it was yeah, in the yeah. summer and because well, you're I, traveling around, eh? I you're was busting and I said to guy, hey mate, can I use your um, the portal? And he said, you don't if want you to. want to, but <laughs> I don't. And I put the mask and man, I was in heaven. I, I couldn't <laughs> smell a thing. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you, mate. Hey, thank you, and uh, yeah, we'll catch yeah. up next time. Yeah, and if you okay. want good hand tools and you're in New Zealand, <laughs> this is your man. Seriously. Anytime, anytime. Sweet ass man. You take care. You're a good dude. Cheers. Hey, All right, so. So that was for you guys who have asked about my hand saws and where I bought them from. I bought them from Gaston at Piranha Tools. So this is Gaston didn't pay me to do this video or anything. I've been buying tools off him for like four years. I've got my chisel set from him, my mallet. I've got a bunch of stuff from him. I just want to help him out and help you guys out as well. So if you want some good tools and you live in New Zealand, I'll put his details in the description below. And Gaston, the good man, threw in one of these for free as well because he's a nice guy. So anyway, thanks for watching this exciting episode and I'll see you in the next one.